This video will demonstrate the manufacture of an Ortmann funnel trap for the capture of newts. The first stage of production is the cutting of three plastic bottles to make the funnels for the newts to enter the traps. A piece of wood is drilled with a hole the correct diameter for the bottle. For a Norwegian one and a half litre bottle, the diameter of the hole saw required is 10 centimetres. The piece of wood is placed securely in a vise and the bottle fed through the hole. The bottle is sawn across using an ordinary wood saw. For this demonstration we're using a clear 5 litre plastic bucket. This is the smallest size we recommend. 10 or 15 litre could be more appropriate in warmer climates. The holes are made using the same 10 centimetre drill as was used in the wooden plank earlier. The first hole is drilled towards the bottom of the bucket. Care must be taken to do this process slowly and evenly. The plastic can easily split. Here we're using a drill stand. If you're using a hand drill, be very careful. The second hole is made 120 degrees around the bucket and slightly higher up, about mid height on the bucket side. The third hole is made midway between the other two holes, higher up the bucket but not too high. We need space for the flotation ring. The funnels are fixed using a standard hot adhesive. Starting with the bottom cone, place the cone through the hole with the mouth of the bottle on the inside of the bucket. Fix the cone at four points around the circumference. Allow this adhesive to solidify. Use the same adhesive to seal around the bottle. Use plenty of time doing this as the adhesive will tend to melt and deform the bottle. Attach the second bottle in the same manner four points again and then fill the gap. Inside the bucket use the same adhesive to attach the bottlenecks together. This stiffens the structure internally. Put in the remaining bottle in the same manner. The next stage is to add buoyancy to the trap. We use here a length of insulation Divide the insulation into using a sharp knife. Measure the length of the insulation needed and cut.
place the insulation strip inside the top of the bucket and mark the place for holes to feed cable strips through. Drill the six holes. Be careful, it's very easy to split the bucket at this stage. Fix the insulation using cable strips. Drill several small holes low down in the bucket to enable water to pass in and out. 